Good, Good morning. morning. We are still in Maui. Day two. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the plan for today is to head over toward, I guess, the northwest side of the island. You have to drive around the south side to get there. Over toward Lahaina, mm -hmm. really the Kapalua area, because there is some snorkeling. Yes. That should be pretty. I mean, there's a ton of snorkeling. There's tons. But that's an area that we really want to go focus on. So we're just going to roll out in the <laughs> rental car. First, we got to get some breakfast. Yeah. See what we can see. Let's go. I hope there'll be some turtles and some. Cross your fingers, guys. Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. All right, let's roll. See ya. <laughs> Outside. Outside. The pool is closed, therefore, it's empty. <laughs> Makes sense. Why? Not sure. I should clarify, empty of people, not empty of water. There's water in there, and there's closed signs. Yeah, they got all this bready stuff, and they do have toasters over there, too. Toasting to order. Oh, it's seafood night tonight at the buffet, too. Goodbye, little English muffins. I guess this is for light toasting, and this is for dark toasting. I mean, I'm sure you could crank on the knobs, but they've got them pre-set up this way on purpose. Look at all this nutritious, um, Bready, bre bready, nutritious breakfast. And coffees, orange juice, and I actually did half cranberry, half orange, you know, just to be different. Time to fill our water bottles, using cups, of course, and maybe hit the road. <laughs> okay, so now back on board time. Really is 5.30 today. Why are they playing Dirty Dancing out here? Was that, was that said in Maui? <laughs> Welcome back to Maui. I love a good restroom taxi. When I was walking in Maui. Look at all them mountains this morning. Ooh, they are glorious. Welcome back to Maui. I mean, you know, we've been walking in Maui the last few minutes, but about a half a mile stroll and we are out to town. It's a long walk. Hey, little car, good to see you. One of the activities you might like to do while you're here on Maui is some snorkeling. Yeah. Well, and do it right from the beach. There are a few really good places to do some snorkeling further up ahead on this drive. Cool. First, you'll need to get a snorkel and some fin. Done. Done. You'll see a lot Feet. of places offering rental sets. We're about to enter the Olawalu Tunnel, the oldest tunnel in Hawaii. It was built in 1951 and spans a total of 318 feet. This route, which is sometimes called the Poly, I guarantee that on any weekend, you'll also see kids' birthday parties in the parks too. These are typical of public beach parks in Hawaii, and it's patently clear that the beach here is open for everyone. Well, we have made it to Kapalua Bay. The parking lot's kind of small, but we actually lucked out and sat here. We saw some people coming back to their car and we got a front row spot. Lucky. <laughs> Ooh, look at these views already. You know, past the uh, construction fence. I see lots of coral, little sandy access. Coastal sand dunes, a natural protection. This looks promising. Well, just down the sandy stairs we go. Well, coming down to the far end, it's actually pretty nice and sandy looking down here. A few large, large, large rocks in the water. Oh, that is some refreshment. Yeah, big school of fish right there. A lot of this looks like snorkel, snorkel, snorkel zone. All right, snort D, off to see the world. <laughs> It doesn't really get much more picturesque than this, I don't think. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
can see all kinds of cool stuff out here. Oh, including mermaids. They've got mermaids in Maui. <laughs> I saw all the same fish I saw at Hanawa Bay. Oh my gosh, and they were for free and you didn't even have to pay for interest fees? <laughs> no, no, it's cool. <laughs> this is neat. So it's like pretty much all rocks and then there's huge coral structures a little bit further out and tons. The fish are so colorful in the Pacific. I just can't get over it. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and this is nice. It's super easy to swim. The waves do kind of come in this way a little, a little bit, bit, so you have to be careful to get close to the rocks. It will try and push you in, so kind of steer clear. Yeah, they're kind of coming diagonally yeah. across I was like, oh, go this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful here. I love it. Oh my gosh. Good find, Jay. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was about to pinch it. Ow, oh, high five. Pinch. No. <laughs> Ma'am, I think you've run out of water up here in the shallows. <laughs> it's really, there's so many rocks, it's hard to get back up here. I'm so cold. Come a little further down the beach now to a little sandy, deepy kind of spot. All right, it's time for a West Maui spin. West Maui is pretty. All of Maui is pretty. <laughs> Side note. This area is home to a lot of bays and beaches and we were torn as to what we wanted to do. I think it's one beach this way is Napili. Uh, one or two beaches this way is Honalea, if I'm remembering those vowels correctly. So a lot of good stuff. There's a little one if you go like two beaches this way. There's a really rocky enclosure. I can't even remember the name of it, but it was like a turtle beach or something. So who knows what we'll get up to today. The world is our oyster. Mmm, oysters. I know they're probably not going to come out on camera, but I'm seeing Pacific Sergeant Majors out here. My best friends, Sergeant Majors. Good to see them on the other side of the world. Oh, some other stuff down here, too. I don't even know what it is. I mean, I know these are rocks, you know, but it's cool fish air snorkeling. Oh, D is discovering my sergeant major friend now. Yes, he lives here too. He's allowed to be where he wants to be, I guess. He's a sergeant major. He's high ranking. He outranks us. Oh, you found a humu humu. Holy moly baluli. Oh, 
this one keeps coming up here talking about all these new fish she keeps seeing some neon blue mess some red something or another's i don't even know what a parrot fish that looks like he's got tattoos on his face we call him the samoan parrot fish because i think the samoan people are known for getting those tattoos i'm trying to remember samoan or maori probably both but i think of samoan Oh, some people up here just started talking about turtles. I think Dee's on a mission. They said they saw two turtles and an eel. We don't know where. Dee's gonna go looking for them. I'm getting swept out to sea. The currents here are no joke. They're not bad, but every now and then a big wave comes in and just boops me all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I'm so happy. Oh, see, oh, baby, I'm Look at this, I'm so cool. I'm I'm so cool. I'm so I'm so cool. I'm so cool. The mermaid is returning. I think she swam about a 200 mile loop around the island. I don't know how big the island is. You have been gone for six and a half days. <laughs> Good gracious. Saw a turtle. Did you? Yeah. I saw a turtle in Maui. I'm so excited. I knew when I heard people say turtle and you just went and took straight off out there. So there's one and there's like it's so beautiful out there but oh my gosh i'm exhausted yeah it was a lot I, they keep saying there's a, a group of people clustered over here and there's like they think there's some kind of cave with an eel in it or something i but... saw the speckles of it but i wasn't recording and all i saw was the tail and it zipped ah. back in so i didn't see that but okay so Where are you way swimming the, the heck out there uh -huh. there's like this coral structure and like a little cave kind of thing and the turtle was just kind of hanging out everybody was crowding around it of course so i walked i swam around the back of it waited for people to kind of leave and told the turtle it's okay you can right. come out it's just me and it did <laughs> it came out and swam up turned around and looked at my camera forever and then then people came back and this guy was like i want to touch it i said don't you touch don't it was that's fine to do that sir i don't care how much you want to you want to do that i'm so mad anyway i saw a turtle and I have the best footage because you know how they never face you; they're always kind of like turned around. Uh -huh. He faced me, and he like you have well, to stay back. Well, they know you. Oh no, don't cry. They knew you were going to be here today. So it, uh, this snorkeling has been amazing. <laughs> like I don't need to go to any other beaches. I'm just I it's know so I... <laughs> good here. Wow, and I'm sure it's good everywhere, but I'm just so impressed. Yeah, we had heard this was a hot spot. So <laughs> wow. <laughs> My day is complete, <laughs> and it's 11:47. Uh, wow, we got lots more Should day to go. Should we please go get some water and food? Yeah, let's <laughs> do. Let's do that. <laughs> wow. Farewell, gorgeous beach. <laughs> we'll probably be back to see you someday. Oh yeah. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left. Look at all this nature coming to view. Girl, I can get all the mangoes. <laughs> oh, look at it. This is a gorgeous island is all I know. I've seen like six different terrains. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Types oh, yeah. of like, it's just amazing. Wow. What else do you want to say? I don't know. We're coming around to the north side now. It's a lot drier. And that's it. Because <laughs> I'm learning stuff. It's still beautiful in its own way though. We could be anywhere right now. That's crazy. We're on the moon. <laughs> definitely recommend getting a car and just driving because you just don't know what you'll find. So cool. We have made it to Nakalele Blowhole. Almost. Well, almost. 
All right, so when you get here, I guess you got a couple of choices. You can walk out to that little hilltop over there, which is considered the easy hike, or there's like a 10 minute hike down, which could be a little challenging. Ooh, a little windy on this north side of the island. The views just keep getting better and better. Ooh, I'll try to block the microphone as much as I can with my hand. Quite, quite windy. So there is the entrance to what they call the challenging path down. I mean, the down is not so bad. It's the getting back up, I guess, that's the issue. Uh, we might just hang out with all these gipatukapachkos of people today and see if we can see a blowhole. So down there looks like blowhole territory, judging by what the folks up here are saying. It has not been super active right now. I know we're kind of at a mid to low tide cycle, which probably doesn't help it. Yes, there are people way down there that have done that hike. Well, we can still get some majestic, windy, basking views. I love this breeze. Well, it's a little more sheltered from the wind down here. All right, let's just bask. Ooh, well, one family climbed down there, didn't they? All right, now let's get our zoom on. Bask and zoom. That's what we do. Don't think we're going to see much um, poof poofing today. But it's still gorgeous. That's okay. Just imagine it. Imagine. Giant whale spouts. What if there were whales and blowholes out here? That'd be amazing. Well, there's no blowing or holing today, I guess, but we have made it to the end of the official route on the north side of Maui. And now we turn around. According to our gypsy guide, if you continue on the road up ahead, which is not recommended at all, um, it's just dangerous. So you don't really drive around more on the north side. So we'll heed that advice. That's a lot of birds. They're fighting. Yeah, they're fighting over this truck, I think. They're like, <laughs> I get to drive. Shotgun, no me. You rode in the front last time. Mom. Okay. That's an interesting conversation. All right, Carl, let's do this. He went on to win three gold medals and two silver medals. We have decided to stop off at another viewpoint. I'm trying to remember, there was a nice recommended viewpoint for our gypsy guide on the way in, and we didn't take it. We're like, we'll go on the way back. I don't know if this was it, but this is very pretty. I mean, it's all good. I mean, how could it not be? So you can climb up there for like a big view, or you could just do this. And um, don't, you know, <laughs> don't do anything too crazy. Okay, that looks safe enough. We're risky, in the water, it's so clean. but we're not that risky. Oh, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you get down there and snorkel? Yeah. <laughs> I bet well, you could I'm come here and, uh, I think they said these lookouts, obviously you can come here probably more in the winter time and watch the surfers surf. Uh -huh. You can probably see a turtle from up here. Whales. Whales, if it was in season. This is amazing. Yikes. Yeah, you know, Hawaii is pretty. <laughs> I think we proved that. <laughs> we, knew, we knew that, but... <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, well, we're not going down there today unless it's by accident. No, it's not. Oh, whoops! Oh, no. Let's... <laughs> no. The pair experimented with different kinds of crops. Coffee, mangoes, and aloe. Well, we were hungry for some lunch, so we've come down to a strip mall. We posted a question in our group as to where we should eat today, and the most authentic sounding place was... Honokawai Okazuya. I don't even know if I did that halfway correctly, but it looks good. See, we have all sorts of delicious sounding stuff. I guess, is that different stuff over there? It sounds good. Okay. Well, we have placed our order. We grabbed a couple cans of um, Razzle Berry Peace Tea. I said, the packaging got me. I yeah, I like, sent D fun. to the... Uh, but it's only 140 calories. Uh, it's not too bad for you. I was like, hey, just go grab us something. And she came back with that one. <laughs> nice. That's a lot of sugar. <laughs> So I guess we're technically in the town of Honakowai, mm -hmm. uh, just south of like the Lahaina area. We said pretty much anything Lahaina or in that zone is fair game. Did you uh, tell them we put the poll on Facebook? Yes. So there were a lot of suggestions. Yeah. I said that's what it says. We chose the most authentic. We looked up some of the popular ones and they seemed a little... Hamburgers, I don't know. French fries. Yeah, too mainstream, y'all. We are not mainstream. We like to go to the local. So thank you, Pia, for the suggestion, actually. <laughs> so we're going to eat it. That's it's going to be delicious. Lots of people have been in and out, you can tell. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, food has been acquired. We're going to take it to go. All right, ma'am, what have you done? 
So I asked her what else was good besides like what Jay got. <laughs> oh, I haven't shown yet. And uh, no, that's fine. Uh, so she said, "Do I like fish or chicken?" I told her fish. So she said, "Get the mahi mahi lemon caper saute." And she asked if I wanted it with mac salad or vegetables. I said vegetables because I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. <laughs> um, so that's what it is, and that sounds delicious. So recommended by the lady that runs the place. Yeah, and it's yeah. extremely hot. It's burning my legs. <laughs> yeah. I got oh gosh, that's close. Loco moco, which of course is the hamburger patty over rice with gravy, a little mac salad on the side, um, and a couple of eggs fried over the top. So that's actually a pretty good looking loco moco. They always look a hot mess, but that's pretty um not hot messy looking oh well we're gonna eat and drink our teas and yeah Yum. now i enjoy saving the environment as much as anybody else but i don't think this compostable fork was meant to survive the eating i don't know i don't know it was so good i almost ate the fork how did you not well your one tine is a little wiggly waggly Mine was hot too. I don't know. Yeah, yours was hotter than mine. Anyway, it's really good. This is. <laughs> it's good really stuff. good. <laughs> no, you're not getting good views currently. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of buildings. So now we have come to the town of Lahaina officially. We found some nice pay public parking, but we're here for some sweet, sweet dessert. We get a sweet reward after cleaning our plates. That seems good. Oh, we got gorgeous ocean views while crossing the street. <laughs> All right, the line a mile long must mean we are in the right place. <laughs> We've made it to Ululani's Gourmet Hawaiian Shave Ice. Told this is a must do. Here is a little peek at some of our flavor options. We got like a little merchandise store over here. Bags and shirts and stickers. I guess you can have that little Apple uh, touchpad thing. No, probably not. Oh, I must have that painted on my wall. We have shave ice. <laughs> All right, we each got our own medium size. Nice shirt, by the way. Big. Oh, thanks. Um, you got a flavor combination called the Lahaina. Yes. Which I forgot what it was. Coconut banana and pineapple. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we both got macadamia nut ice cream in the middle of our shave ice. We told in the Facebook group to do that too. Yeah, and yeah. then the uh, condensed milk on top, of Snow course. Snow-capped. Yeah. Snow -capped. I got party. Bee? Oh, there's a bee. Ah, bee, get back. Bees love shave ice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the party in the mouth, which is tamarind, passion fruit, and calamansa, which by my Googling, I understand is a small citrus fruit. So lots of boom, boom, poop citrusy flavors in mine. I guess we'll stroll and eat. Yeah, it's gonna melt. Man, you got that little ball of macadamia ice cream down there kind of starting to melt. And, mm, that's good stuff. Oh, the consistency on this shave ice is amazing. It kind of is. It's legit. Real fine, real tasty. I finished mine already. She's still working on hers. I probably have mine all over my it's face, massive. but it's all right. Whoo. All right, we found our winner of our shave ice competition so far. Now we didn't make it to, is it Matsumoto? When right. we were on Oahu. We were told to check that one out, we missed it. We're, we're doing all this research. This is hard research to yeah, tell you. Too, but this, this consistency wins. We're gonna continue researching shave ice around the islands. the islands. Hopefully. Such a struggle as it is, and we'll let you know what's up. They've got telephones and PP rooms? Well, I'll use at Very least funny. one of these two things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's about all we have time for in Lahaina. We've got to get this rental car returned. We'll be back for you, Lahaina. Yeah. A lot to explore. to the port, petting zoo and penitentiary. <laughs> that is an important cat. Bye bye. Bye port kitten. You have nice new guests next week, okay? Bye. You're so sweet. I'm glad they feed her, I think. <laughs> yeah, we saw some cans of food up here. Time to go back through the passenger lounge entrance. All right, we are through the x-ray machine, security. Metal detector. Wow. 
<laughs> ready to party. Mahalo. We've come back to the cabin to find a new friend. I'm not exactly sure who he is, but I mean, he's cute. We also got a, a, a important survey from the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism for Hawaii. I guess that's something for the state. Maybe this guy's like an auditor. What do you want, boy? Man, apparently this says that we were chosen to be part of this month's cruise passenger survey. Lucky us. I wonder how many people got these things, but... I'm gonna ask Lisa and Jason. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they basically want to know, like, when you were here, how much you paid to get here, what you did, how much you spent, did the trip exceed your expectations? Yeah. yeah. What did you spend for your hotel? What did you spend on food? Good gracious. That seems like pretty personal information. I mean, boy, I didn't know you were a census taker. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That is almost sail away time. I think they've got the gangways all loaded up. Not a much happening out here now. Hopefully everybody made it back on after, you know, a day and a half in Maui. Oh, we are back on board. Sailing away from beautiful Maui. Beautiful oh, Maui. <laughs> yeah. You're sad still. I'm very sad. But I'm happy to go to the other islands, but Maui is oh, it's amazing. So favorite island so far? So far, yeah. All right. Um, but it's just after 7 o'clock. We're going to run up and see the 7.30 show, which mm -hmm. is? These Guys Worldwide, which okay. they were on the escape when we were, too. I don't know if it's like a group or several True. groups that have the same name, but we didn't get to see them, so... Yeah. May as well see them on here then. Yeah. And then we'll do dinner after that and mm -hmm. blah, blah. So doors are officially open. Let's go. So we're going to run. So, <laughs> bye. Bye. Oh, these people got hit by the Census Bureau as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else did unless they took them in their rooms already. Maybe. Take five. There it is. These guys worldwide. These guys right there. Those guys. All right, we made it. We decided to go ahead and just kind of sit back off to one side, just chilling. Not sure if we can record this or not, but again, I asked at the front door and they said, oh, just listen for announcements. So we'll just listen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage these guys worldwide. show making our way through the jury department see if we can locate some dinner let's see it's time for dinner but not in the skyline tonight we're going to explore a lesser known menu dining option possibly called aloha cafe <laughs> also known as the main buffet it is it's kind of late already <laughs> We are just looking for fast and easy. Oh, they got strip loin on the carving board. It is seafood night up here, though. Um, okay. That's some seafood. Paella. That oh. is some paella. Paella. We've also got fish and yeah. chips, salmon teriyaki. Wow. Uh -huh. Mushroom polenta. That's not seafood. <laughs> oh, I like this whole bar area called the cheese tray. Cheeses, meats, frutas. So on this side we have baked potatoes, shrimp pasta again, honey glazed yeah. roasted butternut squash. Okay, cemetery active fish and chips. Oh, Thai chicken curry. That's not yes. seafood, but I like it. Fish and seafood this pie. Is a seafood and brown pie. gravy. Kind of like a shepherd's pie, but with seafood? Yeah. It okay. Has, it has uh, scallops, calamari, oh. shrimp, fish. And of course, they've got pizza. I saw burgers and dogs and stuff like that down there. A nice little array of bread, potato salad, shrimp salad, uh, and another shrimp salad. 
clam chowder and lobster bisque as their two soupy options. Look at this bounty of seafood on your plate. I'm actually quite excited by all this. I know, I am too. Shrimp, shrimp, nope. shrimp. And a pretzel bun. Um, I got shrimp, chicken, um, shrimp, and f fish, and bread, and I don't know, I'm excited. The little fish stuff that she was telling me about with the mashed potatoes on it. Huh. Ooh. Desserts. We got some kind of chocolate pie going, a strawberry shortcake, mocha buttercream cake, lemon meringue pie, and jello. That's on the front side. Ah, no sugar added pineapple cream cake. I had to go back up there and hit the cheese section. You know I love my cheese. Shh, don't look at my cheese. Uh, desserts to share with you. They had lemon meringue pie, which I grabbed, the strawberry shortcake, and I grabbed the chocolate pie. Boom. <sighs> Good night. Oh, we are back in the cabin from our fancy dinner. We got a lot dressed up to go to the buffet. <laughs> I didn't know where we were eating. I was really impressed with all the selection that they had, though, yeah. for like a small ship with not many people on it. There's something for everybody. Literally. Seafood. Especially if you like seafood. But know, that but was good. The theme nights, you know, each night, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, I forget <laughs> what last night oh, was turkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, turkey night. Now. Uh, you know, it was probably like Thanksgiving or something. Mm, but they had prime rib night the first night. Yeah. I mean, they got some cool stuff going on. It was good. All right. How was your day. second day in Maui? Amazing. It was so good. Any day with a turtle. Any day with like Pacific fish and a turtle. Okay. And beautiful scenery. The chance to see a blowhole. That was all right. Yeah. <laughs> didn't work out. We tried. Cool. It didn't work out. But it was still beautiful scenery. Mm. Um, the most amazing shave ice ever kind of was the lunch was really good like loved it. i don't know it's just a great day i was really sad to leave maui i know uh you only got to swim at one beach it's funny we oh, plotted out two or hours. three mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we plotted out a handful of beaches and we got done with that one we're like whoo i was saw exhausted everything. I, my neck is killing me from snorkeling i i don't know you lift your head up weird when you're like trying to like look for jay i couldn't find him i lost him twice because i went out so look. far I stayed still. He's like, you put me in a spot and you lost yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were like, here I am. And then mm -hmm. I was like, I'm looking for the tall guy. It's me. <laughs> it was sad. Uh, I found him though. But that's it. We're mm -hmm. back in the cabin for tonight. Yeah. I know they had some stuff going on, like the not soon newlywed, newlywed game and some karaoke, karaoke and stuff like that. But we're tired. Exhausted. Yeah, Hawaii <laughs> makes you sleepy. Yeah, we need to sleep, I think. True. We got a semi-early day tomorrow mm -hmm. and a pretty um, ambitious adventure slated. Yeah. All right. Y'all come back. Join us then. We'll see you then. Good night. Bye.